right guys today is halloween we just had four days straight of rain monday tuesday wednesday and thursday about four to five inches at a minimum i'm not sure on that quantity but the general area had at least that much we did not see the sun at all for four days and it, it was a constant rain but it never poured it was just a light rain but it was for four days straight night and day today <clears throat> is the second day of bluebird it is also a full moon a blue moon which means there's two full moons in one month so there was a full moon at the beginning of october and there's one today there's only one place i could come and fish this lake no matter how much it rains stays gin clear I already walked down on the water you can still see 10 foot down every other place is totally blown out and unquestionable there's just no question you cannot go there everything is seven eight nine ten ten foot high just blown out like crazy there's just nothing you can do so what we are doing is this lake don't really have a lot of species it's got red ear bluegill bass crappie and channel cat we are going to try to get on some full moon crappie today using shiners which i got about three dozen and blue ice bobby garlands for some reason they love that color in here because the water's so clear we are using very light line i'm using four pound mono <clears throat> because these fish are very smart we have winds seven to eight miles per hour kind of coming from the south oh i'm gonna say yeah directly out of the south pretty much southeast a little bit from the east, so southeast winds uh, we got two anchors this time that way we do not spin while we're trying to fish with minnows these crappie in here do not get very big but they're not small either it seems like every crappie you catch out of here is tens or elevens so it does have a good average mainly just come here because there's nowhere else to go at all so we, the choices were very limited we're going to give it a try come along with us and see what happens nice first blood on the blue ice bobby garland they're holding tight to cover is why we were not catching them the first hour and a half very tight to cover i'm in a beaver dam right now i caught one on the first cast on the jig and i may have my bobber set too deep on the minnow black crappie about 10 inches not bad, not huge, but not small. Not a bad little guy. Nice little color to him, a little gold. Alright, first fish anyway, hey. May not be so unpromising now. shallower I think too a little bit about a foot or so shallower very first throw on the bottom though I almost got hung right there there he is guys once again on the blue eyes and he inhaled this thing i don't know if i can get this even with pliers yeah i can get it with my finger another beautiful black crappie too they're way shallower than i thought we need to set our bobbers a little bit shallower they're only about three foot down they're close to the bank too all right guys Blue eyes Bobby Garland prevails once again. These are some beautiful black crappie in here because the water's so clear that they're very vibrant all year round. They always have a goldish tint to them and very colorful. 
Their cheeks are always gray. They're really pretty crappie in here. Every one is nine to 11 inches. We just haven't caught any over 12. But we've never caught any under nine. It's very strange. Just like there's one size or, or two sizes all together. And I'm not gonna complain with this size I'm happy with. Oh God, oh God, there he is, got it, all right on the minnow, as soon as I let that crappie go guys, instantly, had one on my bobber, I'm set three feet down, this is the smallest one I've ever caught, right when I said I've never caught one under nine inches, I get an eight incher, <laughs> yeah. I don't scare him. Yeah, they got him on a shiner under a flow set about 36 inches deep. A little eight inch black. I could have held to it once. I would have kept that one a little longer. Not a bad guy. It took us an hour and a half to find these fish, but we found them because I stayed in each spot only about 20 minutes and just kept moving. And now we caught three fish in five minutes. They don't blow you in the sticks. You don't really, you don't want it set three foot deep anymore. You got one finally? All right, Wilma's on her first fish. Yep, crappie. On the, she's using a mayfly bobby garland, which is a new one for us. We tried this spring for the first time. Hers is about a nine incher. This spring, I said, we just, they're new this year. It's the first time you used that one, I think, isn't it? He turned. All right, well, we got her first nine inch black crappie. There's no white crappie in here. They're all black. Good job. I knew it was going to happen eventually. I knew it was. All right, guys. Crappie number four for me. Another, he's about nine, nine and a half. Yeah, nine. Not bad. Good lake for crappie. Nobody really knows they're in here or just don't fish for them kind of an overlooked species in this place. Everybody comes here and just catches bluegill and channel cats mostly, sometimes red ear. Crappie are very overlooked and not be able to, most people can't get them from the bank. So we're fortunate enough to get out here where we target them. All right. What, I caught a fish. fish take off whoa oh my god Gr no it's a green sunfish and that's a big one yeah I thought it was a warmouth at first that's a green sunfish hold that up for us no it's a green sunfish but it's a nice one Wilma just caught a nice green sunfish guys on a minnow Cause they, they always got a little bit of orange. That's an, oh, now be careful cause my line's wrapped around your minnow. Uh, hold on a minute, let me get. That's a really nice for a green sunfish. I didn't even know these were in here. That's the first one we've ever caught. Okay, hold it up. Yeah, like that, just like that. Hold that pose and then look at me. Good job, that's a nice green sunfish. Turn him a little bit toward, yeah, where he's straight. Man, that's a nice one. <laughs> I thought you had a warm mouth, I really did. For the first few seconds you had it up here, I did. I really did. All right, 
Guys, now they're black. Uh, it's two eight inchers I've caught out of here now. He may only no, he's only about seven. So finally, in the spring, we didn't catch any that were under nine. See, minnows are working. It's cheaper, use them. Don't lose jig heads that way, and Bobby Darling. Lose something, you lose a hook. We'll get the bobber back. Seven for me already. I've caught seven crappie. She's caught one crappie and one green sunfish. Nice little black. Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. I got it set perfect, obviously, it's this deep. Three foot. Yeah. Oh! Did you get it? Yeah. yeah, you got a nice one. It's a nice crappie. That's a 12 there. He's a 12. He's a 12. Oh, man. Yeah, he's definitely a 12. Yeah, but see, you just got to be patient. They're smarter in here. They're not easy to catch like other places. All right, well guys, Wilma caught a nice 12 inch. Can you hold it up for us? Man, nice 12 inch black. I'm still zooming, so hold on. Okay, turn a little more if you can. Yeah. Hold it up sideways once. And then come in it's a nice one it made it worth coming anyway there you go it's really thick yeah it is and that's more like it you're lucky you got him it just kind of happened out of nowhere just your bobber just disappeared Or get in this again. Guys, I knew this throw was either gonna be a fish or a stick. Luckily, it was a fish. It was a 50% chance. Cause I just bumped two big sticks the cast before that. And uh, like some people say though, if you ain't getting hung up, you ain't catching crappie. Same with flatheads. All right, and that's crappie number 10. 10 crappie and one greenie. Number 11, guys. Ain't getting any of them 12s except Wilma. Wilma got the 112. She's got the biggest fish of the day. She just didn't catch as many, but she got the big boy. And the odd, she got the odd fish too, the green sunfish. That's 11 nice crappie. Oh man, this must be a bass. No, it's not. Guys, I just put a different Bobby Garland on here just called Minnow. It's just gray and white. Very first throw, hammered one. So Blue Ice is not the only one that will work. She caught one on the Mayfly and then we caught one on the Minnow now. That's 12 crappie. Ah, 
Okay, just gray, dull gray, and clear on one side, like a silverish white and gray. It works, apparently. <laughs> All right, number 12. Not too bad. Got that golden little yellow tint to them. One last crappie before we leave this right where we was unanchoring from this brush pile. I've done pulled my anchor up, but she was pulling hers up. Another 10 inch black on the minnow color, Bobby Garland. That's 13 crappie. So not bad for a, a full moon with unstable weather. I didn't actually expect to do any good at all because of the weather. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. Biggest one of the day. Oh, man. Mm. God. Whoa, I finally got a 12 inch. Yes. The minnow Bobby Garland prevails again, guys. Caught four nice fish on it. It's working better than the blue ice. Wowzers. And he's yellow. Look at that. That's a nice crappie. Yeah, scare the fish. Nice yellow, golden, black crappie. My biggest of the day. Look at that one, honey. They ain't that bad in here, are they? Wow. There's something that's drawing them right there, I think. Besides, it's already a snag, you know, that's probably one. 14. Another nice one, too. He ain't 12, but he's a. Ten again in real yellow. I love the colors of these crappie in this lake. And it's gin clear like this, guys. They got that golden color all year round. Ah, another one on the minnow, Bobby Garland. My gosh. That's 14. 14 crappie. Copy number 14. I don't know why they're on that left side so much. They are. Look at that. Honey. Alright guys, I'm going to get him back in. See if I can get another one. They're loving this color over everything else and over live bait just a plain minnow color it's just a little five foot area they're setting in got off oh you got it all right wilma's on crappie number 17 i think we've caught 17 crappie guys maybe even 18. she got him on a blue ice It's taking me a minute to zoom. Okay, turn your fish. All right, Wilma with her third crappie. Not a bad one. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day, guys. Being that this was the only option we had to fish, it worked out. I really wanted to go to a river or a certain one, and it's just completely flooded. Oh, God, my neck. I guess I gotta. Yes, I do. 
I just looked it back and seen, I, t I was getting ready to turn around, guys. I turned around halfway and my bobber was under. I got another nice green sunfish. Man. Yeah. Wow, we each got one. That's cool. Both big and pot bellies. I thought that was kind of biting different. It wasn't biting like a regular crappie. It's a nice green sunfish. My goodness. Big old fat thing, guys. Wow. So we each got a bonus species today. Pretty cool. You're hung. That's a nice green sunfish. He's bigger than my hand. That's awesome. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's about almost eight inches. Big green. Huh, cool. <laughs> Didn't even know they were in here till today, and I need another minnow. Well, guys, that ends this beautiful autumn day. It's getting ready to get dark, and it gets cold fast now. It's that time of the year where you just got about four to five good hours of fishing from 11 to four, really. And that's when the fish are the most active also. All in all, we had a pretty good day. Caught 17 crappie and two green sunfish. And some of them were pretty decent. Till next time, hit that like button and please subscribe. He's taking the canoe out. We, t we done took the canoe out and there's a tree right here. Yeah, that's a nice one. There's a tree right here in the water, guys, right below us. And it goes out about 20 feet diagonal. So we done took the canoe out, was getting ready to go to the car, and we seen this tree. And I ran up, we both ran over here. I said, well, I know we can pull something from it. And sure enough, pull it up for us. So I apologize, that was not the end of the video. Maybe I can get one. I told you they'd be here. If the wind wasn't blowing towards us, I'd put a minnow right there. I probably still could and get one though. How far out was he? Way out or closer to us? 